Hello, it's me, Lynn, and welcome to my good little garden. Today I'm outside, and I got myself this little gadget. And I want to try it out, because I bought it a while ago. It's a... It's a weed burner. I've never used one, but it seems pretty cool. I put it together here. It was just one snap in the handle and a snap on the bottom. And that was, it was pretty easy and quick to put together. Now I'm gonna get it plugged in and I'm gonna use it on all these weeds down in the flower bed. I was gonna pull them out by hand the other day and I remembered I had this. Cause I've had it for like six months, but I haven't used it. I don't know why I haven't used it, but I just didn't. So let's do this. Let's see how it works. When I read the instructions, it said we need to turn it on low first. Cause this thing can get up to 650 degrees. It's hot. It's supposed to just send the heat down through the roots and it's not supposed to burn things up, but once the heat down through the roots, it's supposed to um kill the weeds. I did do some chop and drop through this section here the other day, but I stopped because I was a little tired, so I didn't get all the weeds out. But today's a good opportunity to let's try and kill these weeds with this with heat of all things. Let's give it a shot. So it's been about a minute warming up. Turned it up high, and this claims that if I just hit it, hit it deep, five seconds or so, that that's all it should need. To kill these weeds, it doesn't do it right away, but it should take a couple days. Three days it says, and then that should be enough to kill these weeds. This seems pretty simple to do. Just walk by and hold it on there for five seconds or so. It's not starting anything on fire, so that's good. But I was afraid that maybe I should have somebody with me. Just in case it did. I'm really close to it too. Right up there in the leaves and it's not starting to fire. Not yet anyway. Let's see how this keeps going. I think I'll stick down a time lapse here. And you can watch me go down. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but when I stick it near the plant, you can see the leaves wilting already. And you also notice, if you hold more than five seconds or so, let's see if you do it for you. When you take it off, I smell a burn. Keep them slow. But of course, since I want to show you, the smoke ain't happening. Let's try that again. See that? So I would be careful in not holding it on there too long. Especially in drier weather. Doing this in drier weather. It may not be the best time to do it. Doing it in wet weather is not, never be a thing because it warms our shock. But I see how they wilt down. Well, I think this thing's gonna work. 
And after a couple of days, I'm pretty sure they're gonna die. So my new toy will be utilized today. Look at that hair. Wind is doing it wonders. Woo, flyaways today. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing this because this is fun. Anybody likes to get rid of the weeds. I love to get rid of the weeds and my new tools. Well, they're fun too. So I'm gonna spend probably a good hour or two outside playing with this today. Get all the weeds I can, see what happens. So once again, thanks for coming around and watching me play outside. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to get yourself a new toy too someday. I don't know. I mean, gardening doesn't require all this. I could just pull the weeds out. But my back is not what it used to be. And like I keep telling you, these old bones, they're not too good anymore. So I'm going to have fun with my toys. Yeah, I tend to do that. Buy toys. But this one seems very useful. I especially like it for down there between the paths. All these cracks. They're hard to get in there and clean out sometimes, you know. They're all out there that have bad knees, you know what I mean? They got bad knees, bad hips. But I still struggle to them. Look at that. Just works them. They're pretty sure they're going to. I'm just pretty sure we will kill these weeds. And I have a lot of them. Yes, I do. Guys, thanks for coming around again and watching me play with my toy. Maybe you should get yourself one too. Look at that thing. I think that piece of equipment right there I think that's going to be a game changer for me. Help me out out here. My sister too. Although I love gardening. Sometimes it doesn't love my back. <laughs> so, thanks a lot guys. And while you're at it, can I ask you to su subscribe to the channel? That, uh, that would be a lot to me. See? Can't speak again. There I go. Please know that when I was two, I fell down a flight of stairs and the reason why I stumble over my words and sometimes I feel mumbled is when I fell down those stairs I split my tongue in half and they told my parents that I probably wouldn't be able to talk at all. So tongue doesn't work like everybody's and sometimes I have a hard time forming my words. But that's okay. That's just who I am. So, in case you're wondering why I mumble sometimes and words don't quite sound like what they're supposed to sound like, well, that's why. Just a little insight onto me. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.